Tanny was in the chat saying this shit ain't easy, right, Tanny? <laughs> yeah, no, real talk. I actually came up to ask, like, okay, so I got an LLC. Um, you ain't, saying, you ain't saying hi to me. God damn it. Oh, you know what? So rude. What's up, DJ? <laughs> Shalom. What's up? Hey, Shalom. I'm I used to it. I'm so sorry. what's going on, Brett? No, nah, so I was just saying that I have an LLC, right? And it's for a staffing agency. Um, but I don't know how to start it. I see a lot of you guys, y'all on here, YouTube. That's like an entrepreneur. You literally start in your business, you start in your brand. I feel yeah. like YouTube might be easy because you're just you're just making videos and you're posting it. But would you have any advice on how to get my business? Like how like how would I go to other companies and be like, hey, you should come with my temp agency. I just I just need some advice on that because I'm scared. Okay. okay, good. I think I think um fear is a mind killer, right? Um, it is an evil that disintegrates you from the inside out. You must learn to face and control it. Fear. Okay. That's actually a poem that we learned um while we were pledging, right? Because it is something that will halt you. You know, you got people that they're great planners. I argue they're great planners because they're scared to implement. Right? People are playing all day. Um, but then when it's time to do, um, they they get cold feet. Right? Um, that's the difference with salespeople. Like you two right now, I think you guys can build great rapport rapport with people. People get messed up when they have to ask for money. That's what the difference between salespeople yeah. and non-sales people. So me, mm -hmm. I'll go, I'll say 18,500 customers say, huh, I don't even blink. I said, T like, man, it's much more than the other guy. I said, I agree. I said, I will not be the cheapest, but I will be worth it. You know, and they got to make a decision from there, but I don't blink. I don't even like make a face, nothing like it doesn't, you know, but I, I'm okay with being rejected too, you know? Good um, part. Yeah. I think I think because because yeah. what I have going on is so um unique. It scares people. I, I don't. You say it again. It, it scares it. Yeah, yours is it, and it's it's very one to one. In terms of what tyranny's trying to do, I like the fact that you said you have an LLC tyranny mm -hmm. because it's not a business. It's an LLC. That's exactly what it is. The mm -hmm. business has to start doing something to for right. it to become a business, right? The LLC mm -hmm. simply protects tyranny from anybody trying to sue her, and they mm -hmm. can't come come to you to your house. They got to go to whatever your business owns, mm -hmm. right? right? So that's that's good. In terms of doing it, you have to do that quite literally one to one. Now, what type of agency is it? Temp? Is it in home care? Which one? Like, what is it? It is, it is temp. And I want to reach out to more companies that accept people with records. So I want to be a specific temp agency. I want to help felons. Yay. Me too. <laughs> Me too? Oh. Yeah. Underdogs. I want to help everybody, but especially the underdogs. Right. Okay. So, yeah, all right, perfect. I can actually... Well, see, I don't want to be in your business. Maybe you could uh, put it Not in the back. It's fine. It's fine. Well, what, what, whatever state... Are you in Texas? Yep. So my a couple of my like my sister, you see sis. I don't know if you ever watched the POV, but sis, that's my actual sister. And okay, so okay. She had she has her all her um degrees and certification in social work. And so a lot of people start these halfway houses, right? Where people come there and live, you know, when they're getting out of rehab or getting out of prison, right? And they have they have that they have, they have that um transition step. So yeah. now those people are looking to work. You have to vet them out 100%. Mm -hmm. But at least that'll give you people to staff. So what I'm basically pointing to is a partnering. You go, if you know anybody that does that type of business, you can go, hey, do you have anybody viable that's looking for a level of work, right? You would come to people like me, right? That have a business that they can do where, okay, this is moving stuff, picking it up and putting it down. So you have to do a lot of networking to get this off the ground. Right. That part. And like what you said, a rejection. Uh, like I can find people. That's not a problem. I can get multiple people to apply with me. I can run their background. No need to because they have a background. But it's just going to companies and trying to find the right pitch mm -hmm. to get them to staff with me. Pitch you know. to me. 
pitch it to you? Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, is this him? How you hi, know him. How you know hey. my name? Oh, I'm sorry. This is the business hemp. This is hemp DJ hemp business. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Who am I speaking with? Yes, my name is Tyranny, and I. Hey, y'all, be quiet back there. <laughs> sorry, sorry man. Go ahead. No, no problem at all. I completely understand. Um, my name is Tyranny. I'm calling from People Like You Staffing Agency, and I That's was in the name. Morning. Yeah, I know, right? Um, people like who? Like, what does that mean? I like that name. Like, tell me more. People like you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so we like to reach out to people, you know, that, see, hold on, hold on, hold on. You made me nervous. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here. My apologies. So, yes, we would love to reach out to people that are looking for careers. And we believe here at People Like You Staffing that no matter the background is what the future is what matters. So mm. we were wanting to see if we can possibly work with you bring us on some outstanding clients and um help build your business i don't know well so when you say their backgrounds what what's in their backgrounds i have um so we do moving um i have a few djs as well uh and i have i have guys that have been through things um but they've come out better for it um i've had had some bad experiences so how are you vetting these is it just men or is it women also so it's both. Uh, we don't discriminate with men or women. And as far as background, um, it can range. I mean, we don't. We'll accept any background. I guess we're really wondering if you would accept working with people with a negative background, a felony record, or. So, so we do moving, right? So there's 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 flags that that jump out to me. If somebody did like a robbery or a burglary. And we're in people's houses that is a bit of a red flag to me you know what i mean just because we're other around people's property so if you're willing to take from people before have you gotten through that right um and then i'm not aligned with like rapists or pedophiles or anything like that okay and that's completely understandable um as far as that genre of felonies no we don't accept those either okay, um, okay. what about the stealing do you guys accept them now again we do believe that one's past doesn't determine their future um i've had some really great candidates that has had that mistake in their past in their early 20s um but mm -hmm. now they just want to work for their family um okay. so truly, i have people with records that are better workers than people with no record yeah and we just want to give them an opportunity no 100 percent. yeah i have a record i used to i got in a couple fights and stuff like that so i definitely understand a young man is not the same as the old man you know i just know that i have i can do it again but i think i think as you know more hopefully now so mm -hmm. i i can understand that i can understand that so uh you trust them the people that you that you offer to me well we do um internal oh, hold on what's the word we do interviews that's really in depth so the questions that I ask will absolutely it, it lines with the personality questions that you would take for any other job. Yeah. And um, I definitely feel as though I've picked a great range of um, candidates. OK. OK. So you you put your name behind them. I would put people like you staff and agency behind them. Yes. OK. So you telling me if they F me over, I can come to you directly. I mean, if anything negative happens um, with one of my employees in your job, then I would absolutely love for us to have a one on one sit down talk to see what we could do moving forward. Um, but as well as this is business. So absolutely. Yeah. OK, OK. Hey, Terry, that was, you actually did pretty good. Like that was that was not bad. Now, granted, it's me. Right. But then again, like we we interacted a few times, but not a million times. You know what I mean? I I mean you see me obviously but that was that was that was not bad at all like even your opening and you only tripped up twice and this is a role play which means people are more likely to kind of be like all right hold on let me restart right mm -hmm. um that's why i did the yelling in the back right just so we didn't have to like okay let's start over you know but gotcha. generally you did well and i think you got a good phone voice um okay. If I were to offer just critique, I would say obviously you clean it up, but you know, to sit down to have a one on one because you didn't just acquiesce to like me coming right to you, you know? 
you saying, hey, I stand behind the people I send to you here at and you plug your name again, which is gold, right? You always plug the name. And if you can see the person, everything that you need an affirmative for, like you do naturally, nod, you know? So when can we start? You like this, you'd be like, when can we start? Do you when are you gonna sign? You know, like everything that's an affirmative, you do this. You know, yeah. we'll be here tomorrow, right? <laughs> you know, you just and it gets people to like it, it's a yes, 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 right. yes. You know, um, uh, I, I I really liked it. I really liked it. I think um in the beginning you could have a couple more questions just in terms of yeses that get people to say yes. Are you looking for staff? Yes. Is it busy right now for you guys, man? I, I you know I saw your trucks all over the place. Yes, right. So now the person is in a yes mode you know and then but everything else that you said was pretty solid and the fact that you said hey i stand behind it i will definitely come and have a one-on-one with you you ain't giving up the kitchen sink but you're saying you're willing to acknowledge it and and confront it when there's an issue you know yep because here's what happens when i get clients right and i say something happens and 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 then we break something i pay them money they don't go back and say to their friends yeah complete move solution paid me money they say man they broke my shit they left out the part the pack that i gave them a hundred dollars right you know what i'm saying um but what we do care about is when you go to a restaurant let's say a high-end restaurant right um like a del frisco steakhouse or steak 48 Mm -hmm. they don't come there and say i'll give you a free steak they'll offer to recook it or they'll give you a piece of cake Right. <laughs> <But you> ain- <laughs> right. People always giving shit away. Nah, nah, nah. I'll redo it. I'll fix you know what I mean? But right. I ain't giving you nah. This sixty dollars, I'm still keeping that because I did the work, you know. So hey man, okay. put a one in the chat if you think tyranny did good. I'm put let me put a one in the chat, man. That was good. <laughs> that was good, man. So you Alicia, think I should face the- ahead, oh, I'm I'm- No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, so you mean you and Alicia, you guys think I should go face to face or should I do emails? I mean, I don't. That's the yeah. part. Okay. Yes, 100%. So you should certainly email, right? Like, e- because that's passive. It's, it's easy. for Nothing's easy. But it, but it's, you know, you can you can email a million people at the same time. Right. Um, use MailChimp, right? Because MailChimp will have their name and their email address. So it'll say, hey, Hampton. And then for Alicia's, it'll say, hey, Alicia. And you can keep all those emails in. And it also gives them ability to unsubscribe. You have to do that, right? That way you can get the people who are absolutely not interested out the way. You see what I'm saying? You can weed them out. So look at MailChimp, right? Um, And then you have to network face-to-face 100%. But you have the voice to be over the phone. And the emails will lead to over the phone. Okay right but you have to go face-to-face networking events okay. find different like i said halfway houses and go and meet people and oftentimes when they look like us you got a leg up you know but yeah 100 okay. percent, man 100 percent. and um yeah i think mailchimp would be great for you i don't think you're at the point where you need like a sales force or a hub spot but just compile those emails with names that way you have a place to get them and you can email them all at once and you can make different templates in mailchimp too you can like design it, you know, it look nice, all to put links in it and everything. Okay. Take a look at MailChimp when you get a point. But yeah, you got a good voice for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Okay. I'm that excited good. now. <laughs> that was good. It's, it's going to be hard to tell. Yeah. You know, because you're selling people, right? So right. I sell people in time, you know, and you're in. So with our inventory tyranny, and Alicia to an extent too. We lose inventory every day. See, our our product goes stale very quickly because mm-hmm. it's days and it's people, right? So when Monday passes and we don't do a job, I've just lost, you know, 120 hours worth of inventory. You see, you see, you see how my thinking is? Mm-hmm. All right, because right, I have I have 12 guys. So what's 12 times eight? Uh 96. 96. So I've lost 96 hours of inventory every time all my guys don't work you see what i'm saying um and i lost a whole day so we, you you would be in the same boat so that's our inventory we got to make sure that we maintain our inventory you know so when we have holidays so-called i, I lose inventory right mm-hmm. so-called christmas whole day gone ain't nobody working you know what i'm saying so it right. just we got to be cognizant of that type of stuff but that's good man 
That's okay. good. That's good. That's good. The pitch, I liked it. I liked it. I'm write it down. I have to go back and rewind it. <laughs> yeah. <100%. laughs> yeah. Well done, Tyranny. Well done. That's a friend. And we out.